Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about function call. Okay? So, I already created a folder and uh, it is also the name and the solution name. And under the source file, I already created Sandata underscore comprog2 underscore lecture 22. And I already put uh, the magnifying to 200% or okay right now let's do the code and again our topic for today is about function call okay let's start with pound include I stream and then we have the using namespace cd and then we have the function integer so this is the what is so called uh, declaration of function okay that's the idea and then we have the integer main now the theory of uh, function call and function integer main function is the same. Okay, so let's do the code. For so we have pahalang is one. Pahalang is less than equals to ten. And then, pahalang plus plus. Okay, this is the for statement. And under the for statement, there's a what you call integer as data type. And there's what you call the variable declaration also. And also the initialization, which is having a value of 1. And uh, it will continue until it is less than or equals to 10. It means to say if it's considered to be 1, it starts with 1 until it reaches to 10. It will add the formula pahalang plus is equals to pahalang plus 1. So every time there is an addition of 1 in pahalang value 1. So it could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if it goes to 10, then it will end the for statement okay because it is considered to be false already for statement is used only if it is true okay and uh, then let's continue so we have here we're going to check the output of this Okay, right now, we didn't use yet the uh, function call. Okay, so we use this only the for statement and let's check out what would the output of this. So to do that, we need to make the, the function call first as a comment only. So let's check out, click debug and start without debugging. Yes. And we have here the output, the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is true. That is why the for statement is so powerful in terms of the syntax. Now let's do the coding in what you so called a function call. To have a function call right here is what we need to do is to create the fit or the lower extremities okay so we have integer parisukat so we have integer tayo that's it and then we're going to put begin and end I told you that it is almost the same as the integer main that's so how the function call works and then we're going to type here 
return that's it so this uh, we declare that uh, right here parisukat is an integer okay so it is an integer and uh, we declare the data type and variable right here the variable is patayo okay and um, we multiply uh, patayo to each uh, to each value for example the value of patayo is 0 multiplied by 0 is 0 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 then 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 that is the idea so uh, now let's uh, put it into the main function right here because this is only a function call inside of the integer main it will not display that is the idea so we need to put it right here the coding of the function call so to do that what we need to do right here is to type parisukat the value of here is considered to be pahalang that is the reality because we put it right here okay and this is considered to be integer also pahalang is integer parisukat is also considered to be integer inside of it there is also an integer and that is pahalang okay so uh, that is how it works now uh, let's proceed and let's check out what is the output of this since we already finished the codes in function call okay let's run this click debug and start without debugging click yes okay we have here the output so we have uh, one the output of one this is what we call the for statement one to ten just i pointed out the code and the output and then this is the parisukat which is 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 4 times 4 is 16 5 times 5 is 25 6 times 6 is 36 7 times 7 49 8 times 8 64 9 times 9 81 and 10 times 10 100 so parisukat is considered to be a square in mathematics okay both sides are considered to be same in length that is what you called uh, pahalang and patayo that's all for today thank you and good luck